harmless fun and friends, fellowship, fun, and friendship. Think of your favorite soda and then put a bottle of happiness in it. I totally explain Ganderbrook to my friends. Yes. Yeah. I would describe Ganderbrook as a very loving and open place. It's a place that where whatever you've done in school or at home or whatever, you go here and no one really knows about it. So it's like you have a fresh start each year. It's where I can truly be myself. Just a place where you can like be who you are. When you come here, like when you leave your family and like sleep over here, and the campers and like the counselors become like your your actual family. I love Ganderberg so much that we take in rough kids and we change lives. We do it by just being examples. We don't force anything down anyone's throats. We really dive in and we're intentional in kids' lives. It's not about the counselors or the staff or the churches. It's really about the kids that come in that may not even have a church or may go to church all the time. The environment is so healthy and so pure that I don't know how you can't leave here without having something seriously imprinted on your heart. Counselors are really fun. Uh, most counselors can be really crazy and silly at, at times, but they can also be really serious and they can think about things. I think they're very nice people and I can trust them. They know what they're doing. Basically the job is to keep you safe, make sure you have fun, and make sure you're included in all activities. I really wanted to be a counselor this summer because of the counselors who have influenced me. I wanted a, a good Christian environment to spend the summer in, but also I wanted to be able to give back and share my experiences and help people younger than me. I wanted to become a counselor because when I was a younger child, I was really bad. And I wanted to be able to give back and take those opportunity campers and help them find God and help them find Christ and show them that there is a better side to the world. My name is Sean Daggett and I'm the director of Ganderbrook Christian Camp. And I'm Donna Daggett and this is our 11th year to be here at camp. I'm Becky Clark. I'm James Clark, and we've worked as directors here for a long time. One of my very favorite times of day at camp or in the early morning, um, Sean and I have had the habit of getting up, and just the beauty of the place that we see around us has been so special to have that hour before the bell rings that we can spend some time talking and praying for this place. And that's my favorite time. Why do we come back year after year to Ganderbrook? I think the main reason is we get to participate with God in what He's doing in these six weeks of camp. I think we feel there's more eternal good done in these six weeks than the rest of the year. When you start coming year after year, you build relationships. And it's a special relationship and you want to see these kids growing and you want you get excited to see them year after year and to see the changes they've gone through and just to work on that relationship. As a mom, an important reason why we come back every year is for my own kids to experience this for a whole summer, to be with these counselors that are wonderful, that my kids strive to be like. There are many things that need to be done around the camp that we don't have volunteers for. So we have work detail. Work detail is sort of you give back to Ganderberg by uh, clean up stuff, fix stuff. This morning our work detail was the dishes. So we washed silverware, we sweep the floors and mop the floors, we dry the dishes, and we clean the trees. We had to take out the trash, clean toilets. You clean those bathrooms. They're <laughs> mainly <laughs> just bathtubs and toilets and sinks, and, sinks and mirrors. There's and then you sweep. Bible class is really fun. People think that just because People think that, oh, it's a class, it's going to be real boring, they go to lectures, really it's not. I really like, I really like Bible class because it's a time where we get to learn new things. And I just like learning more about the Bible. 
and sometimes I te the teachers say that you, they teach you and you teach them, and I like when they say that. Merit badges are um, teaching kids a specific skill. They give you many options. You get to try something new, or you get to do something that you really like to do. I'm doing the soccer merit badge, and I think it's really fun. First, we start off just doing small drills to get the whole soccer basics down, and then we went on to bigger games like a scrimmage, and it was a lot of fun. This week, I'm doing archery. We um, take turns shooting the bow and shoot arrows at the targets, and you just try to get bullseye. Today we just had a test on the parts of the bow and the parts of the arrow. They're not hard, but if you're, you pay attention in class, then it'll be easy. And then you get to shoot arrows after. I'm doing painting. We took pictures of objects, and we're doing a painting style where we do layers. I really like the merit badge time because I'm doing the ropes course. At the ropes course we've learned how to put on a harness and how to tie up dots. And we learned how to play and how to catch somebody when they're falling and we climb stuff. And then there's a bunch of different fun obstacles that you have to do but it's like all up high in the trees. Grab the rope! There, there you go! go. Yeah. Woo. I'm doing the bracelet making merit badge. Here's an example. You gotta, you gotta make a bracelet. In, in Gatorbrook, there's there's a rule that we have: no cell phones, no uh, no electronics. The only thing you can have is a watch and a flashlight. It makes the camp easier to focus. Focus on God. Focus on the people around you. The experience steepens. It's better. It's better that way. So every day we have sports where we just play like a game or two that the counselors teach us how to play. But we've played a variety of sports. We've had paintball going, we've had soccer, basketball, ultimate frisbee, street hockey, four square, gaga. Uh, we've had lots of stuff. My favorite part of the day would probably have to be swimming. I love the waterfront. The waterfront is where we go to our lake and then it's a chance for the kids to have fun in the water, cool off for the day. I love that we have the aqua glide, which is a big giant inflatable slide. The kids can slide down, and it also has a triangle that they can play in. Uh, there's a raft that is fun to dive off of for jumps or whatever. We just got this year a rebounder, which is also known as a water trampoline. You can also go to the island with a counselor. You can go fishing, canoeing, kayaking, tons of stuff. It's not just swimming. My favorite time to be a part of is quiet time. Um, and that happens right after the girls and guys have finished all their sports, swimming and canteen. And so it's a nice little transition between we've done all these fun activities, now we're about to get a little more serious with our singing. Sean or James, our directors, give us a small either verse or speech, and we can either go off in our cabins and talk about what we thought this, what we thought the verse or the speech was about or we can go off on our own and we pray about it and think about it. It's a time to just sit and reflect on God and His Word and you also get time to discuss a thought with your cabin. I like singing because um, it helps me connect to God more. I really, really enjoy the worship here. Uh, you can just feel God's presence as you come through the gates. You just get to sit down with everyone and it's really peaceful and it's nice to think about the lyrics as you're singing and really get into it. on the value of Ganderbrook, 
All I have to do is walk around the camp to campfire to the ball field down at the waterfront and immediately there are memories that flood to my mind of the different things I learned in those places, the life changes that took place in me, uh, the conversations I had with friends. And so literally every angle, every corner of Gannerbrook has some type of memory for me of something important that took place in my life. And it's my prayer that we can be a part of God continuing to do that in the lives of young people in New England as they enjoy Ganderbrook themselves. I think there are so many kids that don't have a hope or a purpose in life. And I think camp is great because yes, you're outside, you're doing all these different fun activities, but we have a purpose. We have a direction that we're sending these kids. And it gives them hope, even if they have a troubled home or a troubled school situation. Here they can be filled with hope and they can be around people or they can be just themselves and be accepted as just who they are, who God has created them to be. And I think that is so wonderful.